Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Anushka. Today I'm actually going to be doing an eyeshadow video and I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now since I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette a lot lately. Now, as you guys know, when this came out, um, not everyone liked it. It was just so hard to work with and like the, the colours are so pigmented to the point where it's too pigmented and like you can't really control like the blending properly and some of the colours go so weird together like they change colour when you mix two together and it's just it's just like a really hard palette to work with but I just love the shades in this palette so as you can see here there's some like yellows and this is like my favourite colour you've got like these beautiful like burgundy shades this is like a super pretty gold shade you've got your like military, military greens and these deep colours here, like I just love the colours, especially this one, this is so pretty, this one's so pretty with the green eyeshadows, this is just like useless and I hate to use this one because it makes the eyeshadows automatically go funny on top of it, when normally I would use Dawn as a base but I realised that when I do, like the eyeshadows that go on top of it just blend so weird, but I have been using some of the shades in particular, there's like three shades that I've been using a lot the past few weeks that I've been wearing makeup and so I went and bought the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division eyeshadow palette which has very similar shades almost all the shades in this palette from the subculture palette so I want to do I'm going to show you what I've been doing the past few weeks and I actually did show you guys in the tutorial but I'm going to show you again and then we're going to see if it this does the exact same look and if it does, that's amazing, because I don't want to tell you guys to go buy this palette. It's not worth the money. I don't even know if it's still available. I think it is. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it's just not worth the 40-something pounds. It's just so hard to work with. I love Anastasia, and I do collect her eyeshadow palettes. I still need to get the Soft Glam palette. But if this one works with the same colours, then definitely it's only £4, compared to £43, like... That would be so good if it does work. So, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys what I do on this eye first. Okay, so I've just zoomed you guys in. So I'm first going to take the shade. This is my favourite shade. It's New Wave. It's such a gorgeous yellow colour. So what I do is I just like put it in my crease. Like you will see it changes colour which is so weird and it goes more of like a orangey yellow like not as mustardy but I still love it I feel like if you have brown skin the shade is so gorgeous it might look crazy right now but trust me it's such a beautiful color and then just grab a clean brush and blend the edges And then I go in with the shade Fudge and I tap off the excess. Make sure you tap off the excess because this stuff goes everywhere. And I just like kind of like put it in this section here. She just goes super patchy like and it's also falling out. Okay, so I guess today is one of those days that it's just not going to work, is it? let's put the gold so I'm gonna put a dawn which is this shade here again which is such a pain to get on my finger so with this one I just kind of press it all over the lid so what I'm gonna do sometimes when it does this I take this really dark shade here which is called Rowdy and I'm just going to like put this very lightly on the lash line just to kind of like make it even with that top bit like what the hell's going on? what the hell? But do you know what I mean? That's just like an example of how much of a pain this palette is, but I still really love the colours. 
Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks really messy, but you get you get what I mean. Like, it's just so hard to work with. And also what I do like to do, I take that really dark colour that I took rowdy and then I just really line that on my lash line. Okay, let's try the other palette. I really want this palette to work like so bad because I don't know, I just love these colours lately and I feel like for summer, like it's just gonna be the perfect. Like, I've done it really dramatic, you can go much softer, but that yellow really makes like that like golden y goddess kind of makeup look. Other shades, they look very similar. So that's like New Wave, that's Rowdy, Fudge. That's Adorn. So you have like the shades. I think that's the one. I'm just gonna put them together. So you can go. They look very similar. Okay, so I'm gonna take another brush and we are gonna put this shade, which is equivalent to New Wave. So I've instantly realised, the thing with subculture, this is new wave when you want to apply, but when you start work, working in with new wave, it goes like this orangey colour, whilst this one is staying very true to its shade, I would say. I mean, it's going much more yellowy. It's not like that mustardy shade that I really like. Well, this is mustardy, but it's not as, you know, do you know what I mean? It's not as warm. How do I explain it? It's just more yellow. Like it looks like more of this colour than this. Why well, am I being funny? Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Fudge. So I am quite pleased with this brown because most affordable browns don't really show up on me. And this is kind of showing up. Like, it's definitely not as pigmented as the subculture palette, but it's showing up. And then we're going to take this shade right here, which is similar to Adorn. I'm also going to grab some of this shade and blend that into the corner. I'm just also going to buff some of New Wave and Fudge on my lower lash line. I'm just going to quickly put some mascara on and I'll be right back. But this is what the eyes look like. As you can tell, the intensity of this eye is like much more like the shadows are much more intense and pigmented and you see the colours a bit more. Although it does look very messy on this bit which I struggle with. New Wave I feel like I will always use from that palette because it's just such a unique shade and I really really love it. It's just that when you start to use some other colours in the palette like they go a bit funny. So I think but when I use other browns from different palettes on New Wave it works fine. So I think... I'm just obsessed with the shade New Wave. I definitely have like other shades in other palettes like Adorn. Um, the one in the Makeup Revolution palette is less warm than the Subculture one. These shadows worked pretty well, like I'm quite surprised actually. I think the overall, sub um, I think the overall Makeup Revolution Iconic Division palette is definitely worth the, five, the four pounds. It's they are really pigmented, they blend really well, and they definitely give like a nice pretty eye look, but you can see there's much more colour and warmth to this eye, which I really like. So that's why I've been obsessed with the subculture palette. It's not exactly the same, like some, especially the new wave shade, it goes more yellow than this orangey yellow. Would I keep using the subculture palette? Yes. Would I still be using this one? Yes, because the shades in this are super pretty. Um, the browns as well blend it really really easy, much much more easier than the subculture palette. Um, this is the shade Adorn from the ma um, subculture palette and this is from the Makeup Revolution palette. 
can you see like it's not as warm so there are like slight differences although they are very similar before i end this video i'm gonna roll onto the swatches and i'll be right back So yeah guys, that's the end of this um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely, if you like the look of this eyeshadow look, then definitely get the Makeup Revolution palette. Um, the greens are super pigmented as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it, considering the fact that it's only four pounds. Um, if you do have the Subculture palette, try out New Wave, like it's such a pretty color, like I love it. You can see it from here, like it's such a beautiful shade. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to compare the two and see if it was as good. Um, I'm still pretty pleased with it, although some of the shades aren't exactly the same. Um, I'm just, I just have this obsession with New Wave and I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!